Today, I am going to talk about how to improve your stamina. I am Dr. Deepak Kekar, psychiatrist, sexologist, hypnotherapist and de-addiction specialist practicing at Akola for the last 39 years, Maharashtra, India. See, when we talk about stamina, usually immediately the attention goes, stamina means stamina in the bed. But otherwise also, one should talk about stamina in general life, in daily life. And when you want to improve or increase your stamina, in daily life that means one should have enough of energy which lasts till evening till late in the night and one should be as fresh as he was in the morning so how to improve that stamina that is also important but i am not going to talk about that stamina i am going to talk about stamina in the bed see when we say general stamina that means one is energetic enthusiastic and he is uh, you know very well uh, motivated inspired and even if it is in the evening or in the night still he is very active and when we say no no he has got very good stamina and then he can work till late in the night and he is very energetic. So if we say he is very like he has got very good stamina. But when we talk about stamina in the bed then that is different thing. Now stamina, general stamina for women also is important. What happens is like she is working if the, the lady is working she is working in some company, office or a business woman. She looks after the children, then works for 8-10 hours, then comes back home. Then again there is a uh, like daily routine which is to be followed in the house and then she is tired. And by the time it is 10, 10, 30 or 11 o'clock and by the time the couple is going to the bed, both of them are exhausted, there is no stamina and there is no desire also. And if in that state one tries, attempts for the sexual intercourse, naturally there may not be enough of erection, there may not be enough of interest and then the worry and the anxiety starts, what has happened. And if in that state, like there is no erection, then immediately there is a worry, anxiety and a question comes, am I a man? I am old or what happened? You know, like lot many tensions and anxieties and worries come. So for stamina in the bed, I am going to suggest following things which if they are followed definitely one will last longer. There are so many things. Number one, sleep. A good night's sleep, 7 to 8 hours of sleep in the night is important. Eating habits. If you are eating a lot, eating sweets, drinking tea or cold drinks, soft drinks, hard drinks, alcohol, then naturally they are uh, not good for the health and that reduces the stamina. Regular exercise, if one is having very regular exercise, exercising for 40 to 50 minutes per day, definitely will be fit. No smoking, no alcohol, no bad habits. Weight also should be in the lower side. If you are overweight, then definitely the movement during intercourse, that causes a lot of problem, especially if you have got pains in the joints. If you eat a lot before sex, so that causes problem because then there is a bloating, distension of abdomen and it, it like stamina doesn't last longer. For improving stamina, one should go ahead with stop and start technique. So if you follow that Masters and Johnson technique, like during intercourse, before the point of no return, if one stops, take out the penis, press it, make it loose, again have foreplay, Again there is a reaction, then there is a movement, intercourse, before the point of no return again take it out. Likewise, if you perform for say 10 to 15 minutes, then definitely the stamina will increase and you will last longer. Average time in the bed, like in the intercourse, intercourse I mean insertion of penis into the vagina, that part of the intercourse, average time is 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Different studies have shown that the time is 5 minutes and 40 seconds but 60 to 70 at times 80 percent of people in our webinars they come and they say that they have got this problem of premature ejaculation. They don't last longer and then there is a frustration, there is a quarrel, there is suspiciousness and it has got a lot of impact. So to last longer in the bed we have to observe natural things so that you are fit. If you have got joint pains or any other medical disease, naturally the movement will not be possible. So in that case, female superior position or female on top position is recommended. 
but if the female partner is also overweight and she also has got joint pains or some other problem then lateral position side by side position also is helpful and one can last longer in that position also kegels exercise it helps to some people and definitely kegels exercise is helpful in many people and like kegels exercise in both ways while you are relaxing in the chair you can do that exercise and while micturate you can do that exercise there is a separate video for kegels exercise which i have published in the youtube as far as drugs are concerned ssris like floxetine dipoxetine you know that benzodiazepines or tricyclic antidepressants they are helpful and those drugs also can be tried local anesthetics and local sprays anesthetized condoms they are also helpful penile rings are also helpful in some people if you like this video please share and like thank you very much